Hi, welcome back to my channel and for, for today we are going to start with a top 15 most important CSS questions that are usually asked in interviews. There are 80 to 90 percent of the chances that these questions will be asked in one of the interview or the other. Um, but it's not important that I just told you that this is a question, this is a solution and you just grasp it just for the sake of it. So I have kept one exercise that's aligned with each of the questions that we will be covering today. And this is a part one of uh, our series. We will be having three videos and we'll be covering five questions each. So without any further ado, let's go to our code runner and start seeing the questions. Okay, so our first question is, how to center a line a div inside another div so basically you have one outer div and inside that you have one inner div so you want to align it in a way that it will always be in the center so the inner div will always be at the center of the outer div um uh, we'll let's see how to solve this so basically hamare paas yahan par kya hai ek div hai जिसको मैंने parent class दिया है, एक class है, एक inner div है, जिसको मैंने child class दिया है, and then you have certain width and height over it and a background of blue, and then over the child also you have width and height. So basically uh, there are two certain ways that you can use uh, to solve this particular problem. The first one is bit difficult you can say or bit uh, complex, but we will cover it so that you have more than one solution if in case someone asks you this question in interview. So, sabse pehle, what we will do, we will provide a position of absolute to child and it will work only when we will provide one relative position to its parent. Only then the absolute will work, right? What we'll do, we'll have top from top to 50% and then we will provide from right to 50%. And finally, we will transform and what are we going to use? Translate. So basically, translate will take two parameters. The first one is how much you want to shift it from x-axis. So you want to shift it from x-axis to 50%. And now you already, now you want to shift it from y-axis but to the upper, upper side, right? Not to the downside but to the upper side. So you will provide 50% but the negative value of 50%. So by writing these, you will be able to center align your inner div inside, uh, that's inside your outer div. So Abhi, if I want to change the value of width and height, you will observe that it will always be in the center no matter what. This is the one way to do it. The another way which is very, very simple to do it and often preferable basically. So here, what I'm going to do, I have this parent, right? So I will be providing display flex. So what flex does, jitni bhi uske childs honge us parent ke, unke upar wo sari properties, jo bhi hum yaha pe properties define karenge, wo un sare parents par apply ho jayenge. So basically, justify content ek property hoti hai, uh, which is, which actually align all the childs in x-axis या फिर x-axis बोल सकते हो या फिर flex की direction बोल सकते हो तो basically if we have not provided any flex direction तो by default it will be row तो row के according वो justify content will act as x-axis और x-axis पे वो उसको center align कर देगा and if we want to align it to y-axis we have align items for that and we can align it centrally like that so now again if I want to decrease its size to 300 back, it will always be center aligned. I hope that's clear. This is very important question and you must be very comfortable working with these kind of problems. So we'll see uh, what is the exercise that we'll be having for these kind of questions. So yeah. So aapko isme kya karna hai? basically you will take an outer div. Just ignore this window. This is just a demo for demo purposes. So you have this outer div और इसमें आपका जो inner div है उसको आपको bottom left में align करना है. So this is the exercise and you will get to know various things about translates and try to use as many options that you can. Um, because practice only makes a man perfect. Uh, no matter how many questions can I give you, it will not 
benefit you for the very long run if you will not practice the likewise questions so that's why i always prefer to give something which is very similar to what we uh, what what questions we have discussed and also if you are finding value on from this video please hit the like button and also subscribe as well and if you want to connect with me on linkedin i'll provide the link in the description box below and you can connect with me there and if you have any doubts we can discuss it over the linkedin okay so now let's quickly go to our second question list the basic layout components of css box model so you clearly have to answer that there are four important concepts the first one is margin border padding and content the content is what you see on the web page and then that content has specific borders along with it the difference and the space that's between the content and the border is padding and if you want to differentiate your content differentiate your particular element from the other elements then you will provide margin this is the basic explanation don't go into explaining uh, a whole lot about box model and all they just need to know the better understanding your clear understanding on margins and padding simply say if i want to provide a space between my content and border i will provide i will use padding if i want to provide space between two different elements i will provide margin so this question can also be asked like uh, difference between margin and padding let's go to the exercise part because that's what makes this session worth watching so the exercise is you have to search out for a property for sizing the box model so basically it by default jo hum use karte hain that's border box to isme hum padding box bhi use kar sakte hain inke beech mein difference kya hota hai aur bhi koi tarike ki box sizing ki property hai aur bhi koi tarike ki value hai jo aap box sizing property ko provide kar sakte ho because if you are able to answer the box model question clearly then it might happen that they will ask you a follow up question or follow up questions mein usually yahi hota hai ki box model mein jo box sizing agar aapko karni ho to usme kya kya values hain basically ya kis kis tarike se kya kya options hai aapke paas usko size karne ke liye so you should definitely know this as well but since we are focusing on the most important parts so i will not be discussing everything but this is an exercise for you so pause this video right now and search for this and try to practice if you have time okay so let's move on to the third one difference between inline block and inline block properties so inline elements are those elements which take only that much space on a web page which is equal to the width of their content whereas block level elements take the entire block and reserve them for themselves no matter how much the width of that block is so spans are usually inline elements and divs are usually block level elements so i have covered very basic thing but if you can search for all the inline elements and all the block level elements for example image is inline element img tag if you remember that is an inline element address is i think block level element then section is block level element your article is block level element semantic tags mein aapke paas bahut sare elements hain jo kuch inline hai kuch block hai so try to discover those kaun se elements inline hai kaun se block hai ya base uh, teesra hai inline block inline block matlab aapne usko ek aisi property provide kar di element ko that now it can act both as inline and block So the next question would be which property will you be using for this so you will be using display so display inline display block and display inline block so display is the property that you will use to change the by default behavior of all the elements for example span is by default inline so now you want if you if i want to change it uh, to uh, to a block level element then i will provide display block to span and then it will take the entire space on the web page and reserve it for itself anything that you that anything that you will add after that will be on the next line and not just aligned to that span i hope that's clear so this is the exercise uh, a very very simple one but yeah if you are at a very beginner level and you are understanding and try to get comfortable with inline and block level elements and and the caveats of this then try to make something like this where you have to border hello world like that 
this is very very basic if you are watching and you are at the advanced level feel free to skip this exercise there is probably um, no need let's move on to the next one what are css media queries and what they are used for very very important question i cannot stress enough that if i have given probably 20 interviews in a month out of 10 15 interviews this question has been asked so don't underestimate the this question's power <laughs> basically if you understand that so they are basically used for responsiveness so responsiveness is where you have multiple devices and your website is working uh, very responsively acting very responsively uh, to the sizes and, and and to the screen sizes to the orientation that you are providing basically so that's the responsiveness and css media queries are used for that but we will see this in detail because it is very very important as well okay so here we are and we have a body it uh, has a paragraph which is we are learning media query is something that's written over there now if you can see right here in the css you can see media is the reserved keyword that you can that you will be using to tell it to css now, now we are dealing with media queries it has only screen it can have various media types like it it can have speech it can have a screen that we are using it can have printer so basically if you are dealing with printing some pages how do you want your style to look like you can use and basically you can use all as well but you will provide max width 600 pixel so when the maximum width is 600 pixel till the maximum so till the width is 600 pixel basically you can say the color will be blue and once the uh, so for the minimum width 300 pixel the color will be peru so if you go right i'll just minimize it like this so peru will be only when the minimum width is 300 pixel so currently it is not 300 pixel so it is it will satisfy this media query and you can see blue and if i move like this it has now minimum 300 pixel so peru is satisfying and you can move it as much as you can and it will be peru also you can provide it like and max width 800 pixel so once 800 pixel is met then it will go to its default color so let's check so now it is more than 800 pixel so now the color is light green you can also provide orientation basically uh, so like this at the rate media only screen and orientation portrait so basically i'm on a laptop so i cannot kind of uh, tell you how it can how you'll see this thing in if you'll change it to landscape mode or some other orientation but yeah there is this option that's available here so how you have to answer this question first we use media queries to provide responsive behavior to our website so that it can deal with multiple screen sizes it can deal with multiple device types and uh, some of the things that we use uh, for it are some of the media types are speech screen printer and you can also do it for all of the media types then you can also provide it orientation and you can provide it max width min width and also you can provide the combination of both of these answering it like this actually dictates it to your interviewer that you are very clear with your thoughts if you know things but you don't know how to represent it basically there is something very very important skill that you are lacking uh, of, of giving interviews basically so you have to be very clear in the mind that what you have to answer and what not i hope that's clear um, now we are back to our exercise very very important exercise very very important to practice media queries because they are new concept they take time to grasp even if you know the caveats of it when you start working on it it is very easy for you to get confused so if you can do practice this exercise for a desktop you want to print something like this and for a phone you wanted something like this so that's something where you can use orientation so if you can do it practice it very very good question and very very good problem to solve and be comfortable with media queries as in general uh, let's move on to the next one and that's the last one how would you select all the pdf links in the code block below with a single line of code so let's say i want to just uh, mark a border around uh, these pdf links and not a simple link how would i do that uh, let's go here and let's check okay 
So as you can see, these are four links that we have. So how can I do that? By using a single line of code, you have attributes for that, right? So what you can do, you can take your anchor tag. What is the basic thing that's differentiating between a simple link and a PDF link? It's the dot ASP and dot PDF. Otherwise, everything is just text or some elements that are common to both of these. So you will fetch this attribute href. So right, dollar and it has to be equals to dot PDF. So dollar refers to the end. So how how that href is ending basically. So you selected your uh, element and now you provided some border over here. And you can see that it's PDF. If the same thing I want to do with the other link ASP, you can fetch it the attribute based on the href, how, how that href is ending. And then you can provide the, the type of style that you want to provide. There is no exercise for this question because this question is itself an exercise, very, very important question to understand the concepts of attributes. So I think that's it for this part of the CSS question. I will be coming up with the part two very soon. If you find this video helpful, do hit the like button. And if you can practice, do practice this exercise and we can discuss the solutions over LinkedIn. Do hit the subscribe button as well. I'll see you soon in my next video. Till then, bye.